Hello everyone. Today's lecture is on signal processing method development. So this is the uh, methodologies where you are going to learn uh, how to whatever the signal recorded, uh, whatever the signal recorded, what we have learned in the last lecture, uh, that how to process that signal. So there are certain methods which are developed, and we will uh, see those signal different methodologies how we are doing processing okay so first let us start from the introduction so development of a new signal processing algorithm is an activity so this is an activity actually uh, which requires a signal processing algorithm and some data the algorithm is a novel concept that means whatever the algorithm we are going to design by using this signal processing methodologies, this is a completely new concept which is implemented either, either as a MATLAB code or C or C++ code. So any code you can use it for developing this algorithm. The data could be of two kinds so that is real or simulated. So we have two types of data, real data and simulated data. What is the real data that is in last class you have seen a test bench that is a test rig for which we have connected the accelerometers on the transmission casing so now what we are doing is we are measuring that data so that type of data is called a real data and what is a simulated data if you model the machine uh, for example we take a simulating software which is a part of a MATLAB and in the simulating software we model the machine and from that model we generate by doing various number of time simulations we generate the data and uh, that data is called the simulated data so as a general rule it is easier to develop the novel algorithm on a simulated data because it its contents are fully controlled for this reason this work illustrates how to generate a variety of simulated components so for that reason here we are going to concentrate on the simulated components from the models which were we were modeled in a simulating software finally the algorithm is validated on a real data once the algorithm is completed by using the simulated data then we can test that algorithm on a real data a manual import of real data into a scientific environment like matlab is a time consuming so manual import of real data what do you mean by manual import see for example if we are using the real data if we want to test our algorithm on a real data then what we have to do we should record that data whichever the data is collected by the accelerometers which are connected to the rotating machines so the important thing here is how do we record the uh, real Data, data that is a real data how do we record the real data so here there are two ways one is manually we record the data manually means we we connect the uh, accelerometers to a uh, machines rotating machines and from there we collect the data manually and we store the data so that is a very time consuming because whatever the data that is generated from the uh, machine the data is a very fused data and also it is a complex data so in order to uh, do the automation in order to save the time what we are doing we are using a data acquisition system so by using the data acquisition system we can easily record the data and we can automatically store the data so which saves a lot of time so as an alternative solution, this course illustrates that it is possible to connect a MATLAB to an external industrial condition monitoring system and therefore to skip the generation of the copy of the entire data in a file format that is compatible with the MATLAB. So for that reason, for the automation purpose, what we are doing, we are designing a condition monitoring system that is a CMS. Uh, and which is integrated with the artificial intelligence hence it is called a smart condition monitoring system so we are developing that system and in that system the already the algorithms are written and they are continuously running and these algorithms will automatically record the signals and they do analysis and they store the signals so that 
every activity goes on in a systematic manner in a condition model system design uh, system that is a device which is directly connected with the machine that in the last class we have seen the architecture of condition monitoring system so the solution presented in this course use abm 4000 so here we are taking an example of abm 4000 this is the one of the condition monitoring device which is available in the market and this device is having multi-channel condition monitoring system manufactured by amc vibro so this device was manufactured by amc vibro so you can get it this device if you search in the google the, with the help of the name amc vibro now now commercialization of novel diagnostic techniques so learning objects so in this commercialization of novel diagnostic techniques what we are going to learn that is a novel improved signal processing techniques we are going to learn case basic detection supervised data acquisition so first we will start from the introduction so the novel improved signal processing techniques are continuously developed within the field of vibration based machine diagnostics however if one considers simultaneously the number of novel techniques which are implemented in the commercial techniques the detection would be different that means here if you take here if one considers simultaneously the number of novel techniques so there are a lot of new techniques that were developed which are implemented in commercial equipments so what do you mean by commercial equipment that is nothing but industry standard equipment suppose i'm using a data equation system for commercial one commercial one means industry standard uh, best example i can take you the national instrument uh, company is manufacturing the data acquisition uh, uh, devices which are commercial commercial means industry standards okay it is therefore tempting to assume that a significant portion of the novel methods is not attractive to practical users so there are there are certain new methods which are not attractive to practical users that means they are they are very good for theoretical research purpose but they are not so uh, good for the practical users why because commercial condition monitoring systems are expected to give auxiliary information rather than to raise the additional questions on data interpretation which is often uh, the case in academia see why because commercial condition monitoring system that means industry standard condition monitoring system are expected to give auxiliary information rather than auxiliary means which are uh, important that means which are quite suitable that information only it will be giving rather than to raise additional questions that is what are the additional questions on data interpretation which is often in the case in the academia so if you take a academic devices there are like arduino uh, data acquisition systems those are the academic devices so with the academic devices we not only get the information required information but also we get some additional uh, unwanted information so which is again we it is a time consuming process like we have to uh, set we have to do some hardware setup in order to uh, not to have this additional information so but that will be good in the case of research side so innovative methods so numerously presented in scientific journals frequently are burdened with three major determinants so what are the three major determinants one is a case based detection so during a path of academic career a scientist is expected to publish so in practice so we are taking the uh, academic case detection so in the academic case detection normally the research scholars or the scientists used to research on novel methods and continuously they will be publishing their new novel methods in practice an experienced scientific writer experienced scientific writer means one academician is able to complementary derive and describe a novel techniques very quickly after it is preliminary discovery taking into account the current ease in generation of simulated signals a novel method could be illustrated with relatively low time efforts so as a consequence the performance of many new methods are 
assessed and verified on the basis of signals generated by single machine or single drive train setup. So by using the single machine or single drive train setup, setup there, the, there are so many new methods that are assessed and verified by using the signals that are generated from the single machine or single drive setup. In this scenario, it is easy to imagine that any subsequent experiment on a different machine is likely to yield much less satisfactory results. So, so that is the reason in this scenario it is, it is easy to imagine. We, we can easily imagine that any subsequent experiment on a different machine. So if you conduct a, any other experiments, that means uh, if you conduct the same on other machines, then the satisfactory results will be very less. This statement is directly endorsed by many artificial neural network based methods, training sets of which corresponds to a particular object in a particular condition. So, we are using to predict the uh, analysis defects or the remaining useful life of the machine. So, that is RUL by using the artificial neural network based methods. So, there are so many methods what we have used in the ANN. Okay, with which we endorse that uh, different other machines we will be get, we will get getting the less satisfactory results. Hopefully, the evolution of industrial Internet of Things will eventually provide more data in a standard standardized format from many sources. Now, now we will see the supervised data acquisition. So, the overall performance of newly developed method could be illustrated using three major types of signals, namely simulated signals, real signals and test trick signals. And uh, real signals from a test trick and industrial signals recorded with limited or often negligible supervision. See, primarily, before developing the condition monitoring algorithm, we should be very clear that what kind of data we are using for developing of the condition monitoring uh, system. So here we have three types of data so we can uh, get into one is the simulated signals. So these simulated signals will be generated from the Simulink model uh, by using the digital twin technology of a real machine. Second one is the real signals from a test trick. Test trick means a test benches that is a laboratory setup. So in the laboratory setup we use the real signals for, uh, and by using this real signals we will develop the condition monitoring algorithm that means either we can use simulating signals, simulated signals or real but I suggest it is a simulated signals are very important because we have a controlled parameters and the another important signals are industrial signals these are directly recorded in the real machines in the industry with a limited supervision that means almost we will not supervise because continuously the machine will be under operating conditions and continuously the data will be recorded so the synthetic simulated signals generated by a software application like a MATLAB and others could easily contain random components deterministic components as well as amplitude frequency or phase modulated components and could experience decay status and so on so the important thing here is see why we are mainly developing the condition monitoring algorithm by using simulated signals or the other name for the simulated signals are synthetic signals the reason here is uh, see we have random components controlled random components deterministic components that means there may be so many deterministic parameters as well as amplitude of the signal frequencies or phase modulated component and could experience decays jitters and so on so these are the controlled parameters which we can control as per our uh, required applications so our whatever the algorithm that is developed by using the synthetic signals is a robust algorithm nevertheless assessment illustrated on a simulated signals explicitly is generally not considered sufficient therefore it is a common practice to verify the method on a test trick data so once the algorithm is completely developed 
by using the synthetic signal we can test this algorithm uh, on a test rig data that is on in the laboratory so before implementing this algorithm in the industry environment the test rigs are the real machines tailored to academic laboratory conditions figure one illustrates a professional test trick for academic research so this is the test trick so the, the algorithm which was developed by synthetic signals will be tested on this test trick because as the, we have already seen there are various uh, accelerometers connected on the uh, casing and by using this we will collect the real data these are real materials only but they are confined to the laboratory purpose Okay, such test tricks allow recording a vibration signals under fully supervised and controlled operational and environmental conditions including desired speed, load, temperature and practically, okay, practically uh, that is a multi-developmental uh, disturbances. Uh, sorry, it is a muted, dev dev muted environmental disturbances. That means here we can mute the environmental disturbances and here we can control the temperature here we can load how low load the machines uh, depending on our requirements we can control the speed of the machine so every parameter will be under our control so with this controlled test rig we can test the algorithm which was developed by the synthetic signals in this way the signals to be invest, uh, investigated is clean and operational parameters could be adjusted to the novel algorithm capabilities which is opposite to typical industrial circumstances so in this way what normally whatever the algorithm that is developed that is a clean algorithm okay because we can develop this uh, we, we, we will be developing this algorithm on a simulated data and we will be testing this algorithm on the in the laboratory environment so that we can test this algorithm on a novel new concepts and which will be clean and we can get a correct results then we can finally implement this algorithm on a real uh, industrial environment moreover in such laboratory setup the sensors generally are placed as close to the source of vibrations as possible so you can see here in this test trick we have placed these accelerometers very close to the vibrations uh, generated components so that is for example you are measuring the vibration signals from a transmission system gear system so that gear system which is enclosed in the casing we have we have kept this accelerometer very close to the gear systems this is frequently not the practical case because such measurements inevitably generate additional costs for a machine working on a real plant so here this setup this type of uh, uh, placing the sensors very nearer to the vibration generated uh, mechanical elements is not possible uh, in the industrial environment because industrial you know, in the environment there are big machines and these gears wheels will be somewhere inside the machine so inside the machine placing the sensor is very difficult so we have to add some extra setup uh, to place that so it requires an extra cost so that is the reason that is also one of the reason why we are not using the data from the real machines for developing the condition monitoring algorithm so no conclusion so in this lecture i have taught about novel improved signal processing techniques supervised data equations explained about the test tricks and its uses in designing the novel uh, smart condition monitoring system algorithm and also taught regarding the placement of a suitable sensors for suitable signal positions so this is one of the very important theoretical lecture uh, so you can uh, listen this presentation uh, which is a very important and you will get insight knowledge like what are the how the main important of this lecture is we have differentiated here the three types of signals and we have clearly 
stated that always the condition monitoring algorithm should be developed by using a synthetic signals and tested on a laboratory equipment then only it is allowed into the industrial environment this is the final statement and thank you so much for watching this presentation